Hello everybody, SSA here, aka Super Snarashi, and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Arashi Lock. And I hope you guys are heated for this episode as I am, because I am literally recording this episode in my underwear, because it's so freaking hot in my house right now. You cannot actually believe how hot it is in my house right now. Uh, summary, it's like 25 degrees Celsius in my house, or in my house, in the Netherlands at the moment. And I live in like an attic apartment, to best describe my where I live. And it's absolutely, absolutely a sauna sometimes right here. It's like the worst kind of feeling when living in your own house. And I have like a fan here who is breathing cold wind towards me while I'm recording this episode. I don't think it's noticeable in the audio. If it is, my apologies for that. But I'm actually recording this in my underwear at the moment because it's so freaking hot. But I am so hyped also to record more episodes for the Arashi Log because it's my baby. It's my own, you know, Nuzlocke rule kind of thing that I'm doing on this channel and I'm so hyped to continue this. So if you're hyped as well, don't forget to hit that like button. But our team has not changed because that is the rules of the Arashi Lock. We cannot change the team after we won a gym battle. So our team has followed is Lizard and the Charmander, we have Starbucks the Kecleon, we have Kiko the Staravia, we have Stubby the Pelipper, we have Deep Throat the Victor Bell, and we have Nexus the Macargo. And we're at Azalea Town right now and I just noticed that my mouse cursor was on the screen the whole time so my apologies for that as well. But in this episode the first thing that we need to do is the Slowpoke Well story and we can actually catch a Pokemon there because I saved that in the last episode. Uh, so let's actually see. We have 16 Pokeball. So that is doable. Um, oh no, we have to... I forgot that we haven't talked to um, the old man, Kurt. The Pokeball genius. So let's do that first. And then we can actually make our way to the Pokewell and do the whole thing. So, uh, hmm, who are you? Yeah, there you go. Because we, we know what he says. We don't have to speak to him. And quite frankly... I can't do an old man's voice in this heat, so <laughs> we're just going to go continue straight forward to the Slowpoke Well so we can get our encounter, battle against Team Rocket there, and hopefully we'll have enough time to actually face the gym leader. So Slowpoke Well, uh, I'm just going to skip you old man, you're not that important. So Slowpoke Well, so let's see what we can actually encounter here in this well because I first want to get encounter before I'm going to battle my way through the story do we have an old rod I don't think we have nope so come on I'm running in this cave why isn't there anything happening there we go, Slowpoke Well encounter is going to be a Bulbasaur. Are we going to get all the starters in this playthrough, like all the Kanto starters? So let's just use Scratch. Alright, so one more Scratch. Okay, um... Okay, ground more. We should be able to... Put it in the red. Okay, now it won't be. Come on, just just, cr just crit. Alright, we need to switch out. We need to switch out. Deep throat. And just use fine whip. Another fine whip should put it in the red. There we go, and now we can just throw Pokeballs at it. So Bulbasaur, that is going to be difficult to catch because it's a starter. As I just said that, it rolls three times. But the catch rate of Bulbasaur is high. Oh, come on Bulbasaur. Come on Bulbasaur. Yes, alright. 
Bulbasaur has been cut. Um, let's nickname it Bulby. I always nickname B Bulbasaur Bulby. So there you go. Someone's PC in box one. That's a okay. Now we can actually go back, heal up my Pokemon, and then we can do the whole Slowpoke Well storyline. Which can be difficult because you never know what you can encounter in these random battles. Even though I did set it on similar strength, if I'm not mistaken. So, with the Pokemon that we have, we should be able to do fine, but you never know. You never know. In all seriousness, we can encounter a Wobbuffet and be unlucky as fuck, so. Let's just continue forward and do what we need to do. If I sometimes, you know, um, how do I call it, go silent for a while, it's mostly because it's very difficult to breed in my own house right now. <laughs> uh, the things I do for my passion, which is YouTube. All right. Let us do this. The first battle in Slowpoke Well. Alright. So what do you have? An Incada. That's an easy Ember. A Swine Up. That's an easy Ember. Charmander got this. Lizard and got this. He might evolve into a Charmeleon in this episode. Pokeball. A guard spec. You know, that's that's money. That's money right there. That's money right there. We can't complain about that. So let's see what this girl has for us. And it's a... Makuhita. Now that is actually quite dangerous. Uh, we're four levels above, so an Ember should be, you know... Okay, we need to switch out. Because I don't want to risk hit burning. And then the guts will activate. Arm thrust, this is neutral because we're normal flying. And we can just use wing attack. And that's the end of Makuhita. Poliwag, uh, we have... Yeah, we have deep throat for that. No problem at all. Fine whip. And that's the end of Poliwag. So, there should be an item here. Like a secret item. A blue scarf. Pretty useless, not gonna lie. <laughs> Come on. There you go. So... We're speeding through this Slowpoke Well event, so... That's good. Combi! Oh, that, that's easy. That's, that's too easy. Uh, swine up again. Easy, Amber again. That's level 50 now. And a Togepi. Ooh, um... Starbucks! You can handle a Togepi, right? With Faint Attack. Okay, it's gonna use Charm. But that's A-OK, -okay because Togepi is still dead. Alright, nice. Maybe I should... Nah. I wanted to say maybe I should so give somebody else a chance to battle right now, but uh, Charm Charmander is doing great at the moment, and he's close to evolving, so let's just roll with it. What do we have here? I'm often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. Okay. Operator Liliana. Who has a Smeargle? Um, okay, so Smeargle has Scratch. Uh, Sketch. You know what? Sketch my Ember. It will not do anything to me because I'm a Fire type, so bye. Abra, this is too easy. I do think I've put it at similar strengths. Because. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fair. There you go. 
And that was the end of this battle! <laughs> Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid what is to come. As my mobile phone is ringing. So let me actually turn that off. Right there. There you go. Much better. Way to go, Jira. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking the fastball. That's a okay. I don't. I don't want to give you. I don't want to give you a apricorn. No, and I don't want your number. That's creepy. From both sides, that's creepy. Like an old man giving a ten-year-old a phone number, or a five-year-old. I'm assuming giving a ten-year-old a phone number. That's just not right. That's just not right, man. All right, so. This gym was much more different. Let's go back. There you go, and let's get back inside because the gym is much different than the original gym in Pokémon Silver and Gold and Crystal. Yeah, it's this uh, thingy. Are my Pokémon fully healed though? They're not, so I'm gonna heal up. Um, we have like. 14 minutes left, so... I mean, we could possibly do it in this episode. And then in the next episode, we can do our rival battle and make our way to Goldenrod, which is... handy dandy. And like, if it is similar strength, then it should not be that much of a problem. So... And again, Charmander is close to evolving, so... We have nothing to lose. We have nothing else better to do, and I don't want to, you know, cut the episode right off here and be like, yo, in the next episode we're gonna do the gym, so let's just do the gym right now. Um, so we need to go to the lever. I think the lever is right... No, this is going to... Uh, yeah, this is going to this lever. Mm, no, this is the right... the wrong way. Because I do want to battle against that guy there, so let's go. There you go, and let's battle! Allow me to teach you, yeah, 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 bug Pokemon, that kind of nonsense. He actually has a Pokemon because, as I said before, a similar strength. Tyro! Should not be a problem. This should actually be... Ooh. Enough for Lizardon to evolve into Charmeleon and we'll get Dragon Rage as well. What? Lizardon is evolving. We're gonna get a Charmeleon in this episode, as I said. So that is actually very helpful. So let's actually do this. There you go. We got a Charmeleon. So now Charmeleon can actually get in the back. Because otherwise this is going to be a easy gym. So let's actually give Stubby the Pelipper the chance now. How about that? So, so Stubby the Pelipper is now in front of the team. And gets a chance to shine. I'm really loving the team so far. I don't know if I actually want to switch up my Pokemon if we manage to win this gym. Because we have the option. But we don't have to. So now we're gonna battle. I, I really need to knock on wood before, you know, something crazy happens and I lose a Pokemon like that. Silcoon, that should definitely not be a problem. It lives on like 2 HP, what, what the fuck. Uh, again Tyrog. Again, should not be a problem. And a Cricketune. Should not be a Problem. Okay. We should be. F oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Okay. 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 This is actually fucking bad. Because we're not outspeeding. And why did I attack? 
Why did I just use supersonic at that point? Because it, it didn't do over half. Let's, let's watch our defense. Nexus has 40 defense. <sighs> Going into Nexus is the only good thing that I have to do now. Because it has the highest defense. Pelipper will die if I let it stay in. And Nexus has the focus band. So it could live. Come on, Nexus. You can do this. You can do this. Ah! Fuck! It was the only way. It was the only way. I said it before, right? I, I, I literally said it right before we went into this battle. Like... Let's just knock on wood before anything crazy happens. And what do you know? That's completely my fault. I completely, completely, you know, blame myself for that. I completely blame myself for that. Uh, faints. Yeah, get rid of Astonish then. I completely blame myself for that. Alright. That is officially the first death of this Nuzlocke. Let me know in the comment section below. I mean, I know I, I made a mistake, but let me know if I could have done something else. After, you know, hitting it twice with Pelipper. Because I don't think there was any option. Nexus was holding the focus band. I don't think there was anything I could do there. Like, literally there wasn't anything I could do there. Alright, we're gonna move Pokemon. Uh, we're going to the box. Which is the dead box. Uh, can I not... Oh, name. There we go. Uh, death. Okay, and... Move Pokemon. Nexus was the first one to die. Nexus was the first one to die. Uh, let me get the item back. There you go. Alright, so what I'm going to do now after that setback, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. And we are going to end this episode here because we are now closing in to the 20 minutes. And as I said before, I really want these episodes to be like 20 to 25 minutes. And I could easily jump in straight away, but... I'd rather, you know, take a moment now of rest. Save the game here. As an honor of our fallen comrade. That is our first death of the Nuzlocke. So, in the next episode, we will be heading back into that gym. With the five Pokemon that we have. Try to nail that gym and then, you know, switch around one Pokemon because we now have a party member. What we can also do is risk getting a Pokemon later on, you know, and get like that Pokemon is going to be in that team. But I think I'd rather try to get a Pokemon from the box right away after we want the gym. But that's all in the future. We need to win against the gym leader first. But if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that comment. Like, comment, share this video with I'm so, so hot right now. Like, comment, share this video with others. Slash the subscribe button down below. And hit that bell icon because then you get notified every time I upload a new video. And that is sincerely appreciated. But with that, 
we're now going to end this episode right off here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.